Microprocessors start as sand, created from quartz rock, which contains silicon. This silicon is separated out and purified, then melted down to create an ingot of silicon with a 99.999% purity. This is the basic material that microprocessors are created from. The ingot is then sliced into extremely thin, 45 nanometer thick by 12 inch wide wafers. These wafers are so thin that it would take over 200 of them to form the thickness of a human hair. Next, a photoresistive layer of film is added to the surface of the wafer. We will now focus on just an individual transistor within the wafer. The transistor converts the electrical signals running through the computer into a message composed of ones and zeros that the computer uses to process information. In a process similar to that of how photos are taken on film, we expose the photoresistive layer to light, which creates a pattern on the transistor. The photoresist that didn't react to the light is then washed away and it leaves a pattern that is then etched into the silicon wafer. Then, the rest of the photoresist is removed and replaced by a protective layer so that only certain parts are exposed. The parts that are exposed are then implanted with ions, or electrically charged particles. Afterwards, the protective layer is removed and the transistor is covered with an insulation layer. Using a process called electroplating, copper fills the holes in the insulation layer to create connection points to wire many transistors together. Then, the excess copper is removed. Now, keep in mind that this is just one of millions of transistors in a single wafer undergoing the same processes at the same time. Millions of neighboring transistors are then wired together to create a single microprocessor within this wafer. The highlighted section is a completed microprocessor. Many are created from a single wafer. The microprocessor is then cut out of the wafer so that the microprocessor can be packaged for use in a computer. The interface panel, how the processor connects to the computer, and the heat spreader used to move heat away from the processor then encapsulate the microprocessor to create the final product, a finished processor. This is the completed microprocessor and what goes into your computer and it allows you to play games, watch movies, and run the complex software that you use today.